വെൽക്കം ദിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് തേർഡ് സബ്ജെക്ട് മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സ് സബ് യൂണിറ്റ് അഡീഷൻ വിതൗട്ട് കാരിങ് ഓവർ ഹലോ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലേൺ ദാറ്റ് ഹൗ ടു ഡു അഡീഷൻ ഇൻ ത്രീ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് വേസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് അഡീഷൻ ഇൻ എ വെർട്ടിക്കൽ വേ സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ അഡീഷൻ ഇൻ ഹോറിസെൻറ്റൽ വേ ആൻഡ് ദ തേർഡ് വൺ ഈസ് അഡീഷൻ ഓഫ് ത്രീ നമ്പേഴ്സ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ബിഫോർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് എ ലെസൺ വി വിൽ ഹാവ് എ ക്വിക്ക് റീക്യാപ് ഓഫ് യുവർ ലാസ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് അഡീഷൻ ഓഫ് ടു ഡിജിറ്റ് നമ്പേഴ്സ് students hear the first example of two digit numbers that is carry out and observe the following addition 54 plus 20 we began the addition from the unit column that is 4 plus 0 is equal to 4 now the tens column 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 so the answer is here 74 very good so the answer is here 74 here the next example 20 plus 54 students if you notice the unit column here is the 0 plus 4 so 0 plus 4 is 4 and the tens column 2 plus 5 is 7 so the answer is here 74 students did you notice something here even when the order of the number is changed they add up to the same number look at here in the first box 54 plus 20 is 74 and if we change the order in the second box that is 20 plus 54 so the answer is same here that is 74 now we will start with our addition in a vertical way here the first sum students add 376 plus 2 if you arrange them in vertical order and under hundreds you write 3 under tens 7 and under units 6 plus 2 we will begin our addition from units column that is 6 units plus 2 units that is 8 units under tens column we have 7 tens so we will write 7 over here and under hundreds column we have 3 hundreds so we will write 3 over here so The answer is here 3 hundreds 7 tens 8 units that is 378 so the answer is here 378 here the next sum 403 plus 64 first we will write hundreds the tens then units 403 would be 400 zero tens and 3 units plus 64 would be 6 tens and 4 units once you arrange them vertically let us begin our addition from units column that is 3 plus 4 is 7 we will write 7 over here in the tens column 0 tens plus 6 tens is equal to 6 tens so we will write 6 over here under hundreds column we have only 4 so write 4 over here so it's 4 hundreds 6 tens and 7 units which means the answer is here 467 here the next sum 513 plus 365 first we will write hundreds tens 
and units. 513 is equal to 500, 110 and 3 units plus 365 would be 300, 6 tens and 5 units. And now let us begin the addition from the units column. 3 units plus 5 units is 8 units. In the tens column, 1 ten plus 6 tens is 7 tens. And now in the hundreds column, 5 hundreds plus 3 hundreds is 8 hundreds. So the answer is here 8 hundreds, 7 tens, and 8 units, which means the answer is 878. So now we have here addition in a horizontal way. The first sum here. Study the following addition carried out in the horizontal arrangement. Students observe the addition done by the horizontal arrangement. First one is here. The addition is four hundreds, two tens, and one unit. Add it with three hundreds, five tens. And one unit that is seven hundreds, seven tens, and two units. Students, now let us observe this addition. You know that we have units with units. Okay, write in the answer box at the units place. So, one unit plus one unit is equal to two units. So, write in the units column two units. Then 2 tenths plus 5 tenths is equal to 7 tenths. This we will write in the tenths column. And 4 hundreds plus 3 hundreds is equal to 7 hundreds. Write in hundreds column 7 hundreds. In this way we can add the numbers in horizontal arrangement also. Here the next sum. 527 plus 261. 527 means... It's five hundreds, two tens, and seven units. Plus two sixty one means two hundreds, six tens, and one unit. Now, as I have already taught you about horizontal arrangement, we will begin an addition from the unit side. Seven units plus one unit is eight, so we will write eight in units column. 2 tens plus 6 tens is 8. So we will write 8 in tens column. Now 5 hundreds plus 2 hundreds is 700. So write 700 in the hundreds column. So the answer is here students 788. Now the next sum here 623 plus 215. 623 means 6 hundreds, 2 tens and 3 units. Plus 215 is 2 hundreds, 1 tens and 5 units. 3 units plus 5 units is 8. So we will write 8 in units column. 2 tens plus 1 ten is 3. So we will write 3 tens in the tens column. Now, 6 hundreds plus 2 hundreds is 8 hundreds. So, write 8 hundreds in the hundreds column. So, students, the answer is here, 838. Here, the next one, addition of three digit numbers. Students, now let us do some addition for three numbers. That is, first one here, 25 plus 30 plus 32. Now, they are already arranged in a vertical column, right? In the units column, 5 units plus 0 units is 5 units. Plus 2 units would be 7 units. 
and now in the tens column, two tens plus three tens is five tens. Five tens plus three tens is eight tens. So the answer is here eighty seven. Now the next sum here, fifty plus two plus three. Now they are already arranged in a vertical order. In the units column. Zero units plus two units is two units, plus three units is five units, and in the tens column we have five only. So write five here, which means the answer is here. Five tens plus five units, that is fifty-five. Here the next sum, four hundred and fifty-three. Plus one hundred and four, plus one hundred and twelve. That is four hundreds, five tens, and three units. Plus one hundred, zero ten, and four units. Then plus one hundred, one ten, and two units. Now let us begin the addition from the units column. Three units plus four units is seven units, and seven units plus two units is nine units. In the tens column, five tens plus zero ten is five tens. Five tens plus one ten is six tens. And now in the hundreds column, four hundreds plus one hundreds is five hundreds. So the five hundreds plus one hundred is six hundreds. So It is six hundreds, six tens, and nine units, which means the answer is here six hundred and sixty-nine. Students, hear the last sum: one hundred and five plus three plus twenty. One hundred zero tens and five units plus three, that is three units. Plus twenty, that is two tens and zero unit. Now in the units column, five units plus three units is eight units. Plus zero unit would be eight units. In the tens column, zero tens plus two tens is two tens. In the hundreds column, we have only one. So we will write one. In the hundred column, which means the answer is here, students, one hundred two tens eight units. That is one hundred and twenty eight. So, students, today we have learned that first one how to add the numbers in a vertical way, second how to add the numbers in a horizontal way, and the third one is addition of three numbers. students now here the homework time first one is arrange vertically and add them second add in horizontal arrangement and the third one is addition of three numbers thank you